Hello, you beautiful people. It is me, Inferno, here, and who oh boy, it has been forever since I last did a Legend of Zelda related video. Um, that's partially because I'd been freaking out trying to get uh, Pokemon Let's Plays up and going. Um, and I don't know, I just I didn't really know what to do after ranking the Divine Beasts. But I came back with a little idea. This is going to be a really simple, short video. Um, I'm going to uh, be counting down my top five favorite cities and towns, whatever one of the favorite civilizations in Breath of the Wild. Now, obviously, there aren't that many. Uh, there are maybe seven or eight. So, so it's like you're picking over half the you're picking over half of them. This is gonna be a really predictable list. You shall say, well, guess what? Watch, click on the video. Um. Now, with all that being said, though, um, let's get right into this. If you hear any cicadas in the background, I have my window open, and they are being really loud out right now. Uh, summertime. So, first, we're going to start off with... Kakariko Village. I mean, what, what was the really else much to say. I mean, it's, it's the first town you really show up in. Um, it, for me, uh, when I when I was originally playing this game, and I played this game blind. I didn't, I came in knowing nothing. Um, and I loved, um, I love, I love civilizations in Breath of the Wild games. It's, it was really nice, especially with the whole, um, with the whole, like, post-apocalyptic, so to say theme of it it's really nice to see other Hylians other people around so when I first got into Kakariko Village I did not want to leave because I was like no I don't want to leave civilization it's so nice I can talk to people um yeah it was uh very nice obviously there's Impa with the whole backstory it's just a really nice town um I love the music too I love the Japanese inspired theme of it um yeah, there's really much to say it's just I um, Kakariko Town's the OG, um, and, like, this video is gonna be heavily inspired on my experiences with, um, with my, uh, I can't talk, my experiences the first time playing through this game, uh, and with that being said, the next one on the list Gerudo Town. Um, Gerudo Town is, like, like this, th this is the main reason why, uh, I love Gerudo Town as much as I did. So, after I got the Freaking the Divine Beasts thing, I had no idea what the Divine Beasts, like, I knew what they were, but I didn't know, like, what, the, I didn't know what they looked like, I, I didn't know where they were, all I saw was the yellow dots, and Nabors looked the closest. So, I went through the Gerudo Wasteland bumbling my way along, when I got to the Wasteland Tower and I saw and I looked down and I saw what ended up being Gruta Town, I said, Civilization, yes, here I come. And so I both, I like, my first place through the game, I heard the, um, you know how there's the Gruta Canyon stable? I heard the music, but I was so, but I was, I was an idiot and I couldn't find it. So that entire game, I skipped out the entire Gruta Canyon stable, didn't even realize it existed until my second playthrough of it. Um, because the second I saw it, I just paraglided in there, and I, I, I ended up going to Car Car Bazaar, which is another thing I really like, because that's another quote-unquote quote civilization thing. Um, I really like how it, it was a cool idea how it was, like, girls only, and the cross-dressing thing, oh god, the internet, they, oh man, this is why you don't go to the dark web, people, um, but, yeah, with all that being said, Gerudo Town was just a really great place uh, for me to see after leaving Kakariko Village sad. I didn't know where any of the civilizations would be. Um, yeah. It's just, it's just a nice town. Um, I realize I've said, um, like, 20 times already in this video now. But, uh, to keep things rolling, we have Zora's Domain. Now, there's many, there, there's, it's, it's something interesting about me with, 
uh, Zoro's domain. I like I like Zoro's domain better when Ruta is spraying water everywhere and it's really dark and it's, and it's like stormy and it's rainy everywhere and stuff like that. But it was it the way I went in the Divine Beast Order. I went I was I was stupid. I went Naboris, which you should do last, then Ruta, then Rudania, then Meadow. What you really should be doing is more like Ruta, Meadow, Rudania, Naboris, because I had those Yiga Clan, I had those Yiga Clan members chasing me the rest of the game. It was really bad. Um, so when I showed up here for the second time, um, when I showed up here, my first time playing through from a second divine beast, it was really nice. I, I love the landscape around it too. Like with Gruta Town, I put it in number four because of my first. That was that was my first experience finding the town. That was my first divine beast. But just it's a plain old desert around. Like yeah, there, there's some there's some interesting ruins and it's it's cool. Um, but with Zoro's domain, I, I like I like all the mountains. Uh, the Lionel fight was probably the Lionel fight was probably the scariest fight I did. Do. I didn't even do the fight. I had to sneak cross my way around. I think I died like five to ten times. It was, it was pretty. It was pretty frightening. Lionels. I, I've hardly fought any Lionels. I always, I always just like go right past them because I, I just don't. I don't want to fight them. Um. There, there's obviously like the whole walk up to get to Zoro's domain. It, it was nice. Um. Again, I really like. It's like I mainly just like the landscape with all the waterfalls. Um, it's a, it's a nice, it's a pretty, it's a pretty vibrant city. Not city, but like town. You, you get what I mean. Uh, yeah, that's all that can really be said for uh, Zoro's domain. So next, we are going to move on to. Rito Village. Don't know why I really did that pause right there, but whatever. Basically, uh, Rito Village. It's the same reason as um, same reason as Zoro's Domain. I love the landscape around it. I mean, okay, the state of Colorado. If you've never been there, you need to go there. It's such a pretty. It's such a gorgeous, gorgeous state. All the mountains, so pretty. All the trees and everything. Denver's a great city as well. Um, and Rito Village, the entire area, like the Tabantha area, especially with all the forests, reminded me of it. Not uh, especially with all the cold, with like the cold mountains around it, and all. It reminded me of the mountain peaks there. Um, the the music. I forgot to bring up music. Music for Gruta Town, Kakariko. I brought it for Kakariko, but Gruta Town was great. Zoro's domain was a bit lackluster, um, but Rio Villages was very nice to hear. Um, it's just a very heartwarming town to me. Um, obviously, uh, unlike unlike uh, Gerda Town or uh, Zoro's domain, there isn't really any sentimental character in there. Like the the elder of that village is literally useless. Like. I, I, I felt no attachment to him whatsoever. Prince Sidon was amazing in the internet. We don't talk about that. Um with T but like like Tabba, that, that was that was really the only character that was like that that was what they really pushed forward with and it, and it was cool. Um But yeah, basically the only reason why Rito Village is really this high in the freaking uh thing is just it reminded me of Colorado, and I love Colorado. Uh, the the shrine, the shrine is an easy shrine. Um, that was nice. It's just, I don't know. I I, I always like heading up to Rio Village, and it's always Divine Beast Vomito is like if you didn't see my last video, you can go check that out. Uh, you'll know where Divine Beast Vomito is in my ranking. Um, but finally, with that being said, the last. And final village, like my favorite. Now, not necessarily my like. I know this is ranking my favorite villages, but I love all the villages in this game. Like, you can name any single one. I like them. Um, 
So, basically, I am have some honorable mentions, because these honorable mentions could have easily been in any of these spots. Like, honestly, they're pretty much all even, like, all of them. Like, Rito, Zora, Gerudo, Kakariko. They, I, I, re I really just thought, thought through this. Like, villages, Tino Village. Love that village, too. Um, that's, that's where your house is in the game, and so gotta have some respect for that uh, town it was also it was also nice to go there because i headed to hatino right after kakariko um it was really easy to get there you just climb the hatino tower i mean not hatino yeah hatino tower and then you just paraglide on in there um i'm trying to think of other ones goron city uh the flaming city uh it was a pain to get there and i was freaking out i think i'd run out of time and burn to death but i didn't uh, it was also a really, it was, it was a nice city, uh, had some stuff, probably my favorite part is all the ore around there, because I would just stock up on rubies and sapphires and get rich, um, and I know this is probably, like, giving away, uh, the final one, uh, right now, it's between, uh, Terrytown and Lorland Village, and so, after that, you can guess at this current moment in time. And in three, two, one. Screw counting is Terry Town. It that that's that's all that can be said. It there there's there's a reason why. Um now I'll explain. There's a reason why I like Terry Town so much. And it's mainly because you built that town. Um, you started with Bolson from the ground up, like, like, the side quest that's from the ground up. You built it in, like, okay, I'm just gonna outright say it, and this, this might even be a topic for a video later, um, my favorite and least favorite regions in Breath of the Wild, that's an idea I have for a video, Akala was probably one of my least favorites, um, until I learned about the Terrytown side quest, cause there's nothing out there in Akala. It's like the lady at the friggin', I think... East Akala stable said, "There's nothing out here. All there is is Robbie's ancient tech lab where you can make broken weapons, and that was it. It was a really boring, really bland region, and it's actually if anything kind of sad. It's like there, there, there's two stables out there, and then there's the ancient tech lab, and there's nothing. It's like it's completely cut off because like it, it's behind. It's like next to and behind Death Mountain, and." There was nothing out there. It was it was really, I was really not satisfied. I was very unsatisfied when going through Akala. Then when I did the from the ground up, it was a it was a pleasing to go to Akala because Terry Town such a nice town. Um, you get all quote unquote ethnicities in the Breath of the Wild game. There, um, you get. You get many different types of people. It just it brought life to the Call region, and that's why I like it so much. Now, Florland Village, um, I love that village as so. I love the vill that village so much as well. Um, like like I said, these five villages, I honestly don't may maybe if not don't like them as much. Like basically, they're either a little bit better or equal to the ones that I didn't name. Lorland Village was also something that's never like the same with same with Terrytown and um Terrytown and Lorland, they've never been in any past Zelda game. I'm same with Rito Village, but that's already on the list. Um with Lorland Village is such a nice um uh beach like I guess fishing town too. If you guys if you guys somehow haven't played that game yet, I'll freaking find a picture for you. Lorland Village. It's a very it's a very nice town as well. Um, it's, it, it was very nice because the way I went through the game was after I got the Divine Beast quest, um, I believe now, obviously I've beaten this game like I don't, five other times. It, that's not as much as I've heard of the people beat it, but for me, that, that I've put over 150 hours into that game. Jeez, I've wasted a lot of hours of my life in that game. Not wasted, but not wasted time, but, uh, I spent so much time. Basically, I think the first time I went there, I went through it. I got the um got the quest, but I also got the Hatino Village quest. So I went to Hatino Village, and then there was the fair. There's there's the entire fair on region down there. 
And I was like, okay, I'm going to go to Farron. And then I'll go to Grudo. I didn't know the Grudo at the time. But I ended up going to Grudo. And while I was there, I had just beaten uh, one of the shrines. I had been going through. Um, I, jump, I jump off Cliff and Paraglide down. I see a bunch of lights. And I'm like, is that an enemy camp? It's like it's getting bigger. And I land there. It's this little village. And I'm like, yes. Another civilization. Oh, this is amazing. I was so happy. It was the same thing with Grudo Town. It was. I did not expect there to be a town there. And I expected to be lonely. Except with the monsters, but the monsters would hurt me. The monsters were bad people. Um, loud freaking car. Um, and I was happily surprised. I know this is making it sound like another one as well. And I feel like I'm just dragging out this video for even longer. But, yeah. Lurland Village is another great, great village. It's got a very nice atmosphere. Um, like all, all of them. Like, Patino, Goron City, Grota Town, Kakariko, Patino, Zora, Rito, Terrytown. The towns, the towns in this game, in my opinion, were great. Y you might disagree with it? Go ahead, that's all you. Um, but for me, for me, I, I disagree. Uh, and, obviously, this isn't, uh, there, there are many more videos that I have, um, for Legend Zelda related stuff to come in the future. I have many ideas, uh. Some of them you might even see here on the friggin' sidebar because it has literally everything. And some of the stuff might, might have to do with uh, some of the ideas I have. Because uh, there, there's so many, like, top fives and top tens I can do with this game. And so this isn't going to be, like, an everyday thing because that's what I'm trying to push for uranium. But that ain't going to happen. I'm always busy and school starting up in... 10 days for me, so I have 10 days to try to get videos out to you, then I'm going to be really busy again. Um, for me, hockey's going to be starting up in early September as well. So, yeah. I feel like this video's been going on for too long already, though, so I'm just going to end here. Anyway, if you guys did enjoy the video, please uh, leave a like. You don't really have to. It's the subscribe button where it's at. If you hit that subscribe button, you get my content whenever I upload, which is, unless I'm on a vacay, which vacays are done. The, uh, I went to Indy last night, so I'll, I'll be home, uh, every couple of, couple of videos every week, that, that's what I'm trying to push for, uh, but anyway, I have an inferno, and I will see all you lovely people next time.